What? 136 grand? No way. A 30 year old Toyota, bro. The used car market is getting out of hand and we need to talk about it because sometimes I feel like I'm losing my mind when I see the price of old cars. And we're a couple of guys who have bought one or two old cars. We found a bunch of used cars on the internet and today Jeremiah and I are gonna try and guess how much people actually paid for these cars. Price is right rules, if you go over, you're out. I'm James, he's Jeremiah, and this is The Deal. The deal is. Big thanks to Hyundai for sponsoring today's video. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Another freaking race car? Hey Jerry, what do you think of the all new Hyundai Elantra N? James, is that you? It's me, baby. Now get in, you old geezer. What the heck is going on? You look so alive. Buddy, I haven't felt this alive in over 40 years. I wish they had features like end mode and a 10.25 inch touchscreen back in our day. That's bigger than the TVs we had back then. <laughs> That's bigger than the TVs we had back then. That's right. It tells you how many Gs you're pulling. It tells you when you need to pay attention while driving. It's got heated seats. For your tuchus. Oh, nice. It's even got launch control. <laughs> launch control? What are you, a freaking astronaut? <laughs> this baby does fly. This is Hyundai's new breed of high performance sedan, and let me tell you, performance has never felt or sounded this fun. Feeling it yet, Jerry? Oh, I'm feeling great. You weren't kidding with these customizable drive modes and exhaust notes. Hey, nice Elantra N. Love that end design exterior. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. And you can get it with an optional eight speed wet dual clutch transmission or a six speed rev matching manual. You know, in case you want to disturb some nice neighborhoods. Oh, I know. <laughs> Do I know you guys? Toodaloo! Cheese and biscuits. I can't remember the last time I had that much fun. Thanks, man. Okay, I'll, I'll see you. Oh, Wait, oh. Jerry. Your glasses. Don't want to forget those. Thank you, my friend. See you tomorrow night for bingo, right? Oh, yes, definitely. Except this time, you're driving. You got it. Excited. Let's dig in. First up, we have a 1992 Arcadia Green Honda Accord. Right. Five speed, 40,000 miles. So this is a low mileage yeah. Honda Accord. Appears to be in pretty good tick. I guarantee you this car costs more now <laughs> than it did when I was in high school. When it rolled off the lot. Yeah. Or yeah. I can smell this car, by mm -hmm. the way. I yeah. know what this car smells like. This one is clean. And like they, people, like I think our generation too is like huge on nostalgia. Yes. Like you're like, I can smell this car. Right. right. I'm gonna start out strong. I'm okay. gonna say, $16,000. Okay, that was pretty close. I'm, I'm thinking like, I was thinking, okay, I'll say 20 grand. I'll say 20 grand. Damn. Price for the 1991 Accord is 21,000. What? <laughs> I believe it. I'm not shocked at all. I was gonna guess 30 at one point. <laughs> you did say, I wouldn't be surprised if it was 30 grand. Next up, we have a classic. 1987 Volvo 240 wagon. This is a non-turbo four-cylinder with an automatic okay. and 60,000 miles. Okay, I don't know anything about these. So this is gonna be a shot in the dark. I feel like this is a car that a lot of people like. Uh-huh. Like, like more so than the Accord. Whereas like the Accord, you're spending $21,000 to look poor. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that interior is nice. It's pretty cool. It's a wagon. Wagons usually bring more money. Uh-huh. Right? This is the first car I ever did a burnout in. Oh. Yeah. They're rear wheel drive. You can get them with a manual. You can get a turbo one. People have done some wild swaps in them. Let's just say 14.5. Okay, I was gonna guess 12,000. Okay. The actual price of the Volvo was $35,000. Are you <laughs> kidding me? No way. No way. Dude. Quit spending that much money on these because now everything else is more expensive and cool stuff is way more expensive. I'm not saying this car's not cool, but 35 grand? Dude, this car sold five days ago for $35,000. That's insane. Right, so our next car is actually a new car. It's a 2021 Civic Type R, mm -hmm. number one of 600 limited edition models that year. And it's 
Only has 16 miles on it. It's a brand new car. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna say 110,000. <laughs> 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 Why not? You know? Why not Someone go big? I was thinking 65K. That's what mm, I'm thinking. You're dreaming, buddy. <laughs> 110. 110. And even at 65, I feel like I'm going over. But all yeah. right, 110, 65. All right, what is it? Hammer price was 102,000. Oh, jeez. What? You're kidding me. When these came out, they were going for like 30 over MSRP. And this is 10600. Get the this f out of here! <laughs> it's yellow. That's insane. A hundred and two thousand dollars for a Honda Civic. <laughs> you don't understand because you're poor. <laughs> this is madness. This is absolute madness, dude. I knew it was over a hundred grand. Next one, a 1988 Yugo GV. Now GV, of course, stands for great value. I doubt it. <laughs> One of the worst cars ever. <laughs> like everyone, like, people make jokes about like right, a bad car. I don't think they do so much anymore. But like, growing up, a Yugo was the worst car ever. This is a 1.1 liter inline four, so you Turn know <laughs> it gets up and goes. Four speed manual. Oh, this cool. thing sold for 4,500 bucks back in the day. <laughs> it was once the cheapest car in the world. How much? Did some American <laughs> buy it for? It's known as being the worst I, car. I, Why think, someone... I think that it's come full circle and someone paid a lot more money because it's one of the worst cars ever. Isn't that hilarious? It's like meme culture, man. I hate it. Uh, money is meaningless. Money, money is fake. Money's know. fake. This world we live in is bizarre. I don't know. Thirty-five thousand. I was gonna <laughs> guess thirty-five. I have no clue. I have no clue. So I'll guess thirty-two because I'm not winning. <laughs> This car actually sold for thirty-four hundred dollars. What? Uh -oh. <laughs> Which means you both busted. Oh. <laughs> there are good values. In there are. Though. You can buy the worst car in the world. <laughs> All right, we got a nineteen ninety-seven Chevy Tahoe. Love these. It's a drug dealer's car. That's right. If I ever saw one. Yeah. Uh, this is the two-door version of the Suburban. Which is ultimate drug dealer. Uh, ultimate. <laughs> That's Tony Soprano's car. <laughs> this thing is got a 5.7 liter Vortec V8. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got 4x4. Four four. It's got the Z71 package. Okay, that's cool. I think I'm, I'm still going to go 35. I just skipped a thing. I'm thinking 35K for this. I'm going to say... It's like a Bronco. It's like a new age Bronco. Mm -hmm. 20, 22 grand. The actual sale price was... 28 grand. Yeah, oh, I'm on the board, baby. 28K with 150,000 for a Chevy. For a Chevy, come on. Yeesh. These were a dime a dozen, and the interior is <laughs> yeah. straight trash. As yeah. someone who owns a late 2000, or late 90s, early 2000s GM product, they're terrible. Yeah, I thought that the most value out of these things would be ripping the motor out. Right. right. So well, that's what people used to do. They yeah. used to rip the iron blocks out, put them into race cars yeah. because you could get them so cheap. Oh, 1983 Rabbit GTI made by Volkswagen. Ooh. This one's special because it's got a Callaway Stage 2 kit. Man. Callaway is a really cool company that really pioneered the bolt on turbo kit. Uh, we made it up to speed about it. It's very good. I'll put a link in the description. This thing's got 19,000 miles. Oh, that's sick. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Look at those Bright seats. Right here, beautiful. Very period correct. Yeah. Uh, 17,000. Oh, $17,000. Oh my God. I just don't think there's a huge market. People haven't come around yet to being cool, loving Volkswagen. See, this is, your, this, you're like, this is your bag, baby. Dude, but once it goes on Bring a Trailer, you never know. What'd you say? I said 17 grand. Okay, I'm gonna see 17,001. <laughs> <laughs> the sale price of the rabbit was 62,000. What? <laughs> oh my god, dude. 62K. All what? right. I guess, I mean, what is happening? James, you just told me people haven't come around. To this. <laughs> I guess I was wrong. I feel like I should be fired. The next one isn't a car at all. It's an NFT, I don't know. It's an know. NFT of the Fast and Furious Supra that's sold at Barrett Jackson this year. The NFT includes one video, one illustration, and three images of the car. Just I don't know, half a million dollars? <laughs> $500,000? To be honest, that doesn't sound off. No. I would say, I would say a hundred grand, a hundred grand for someone to buy a 
picture I, of video. I, I honestly think that's way over. I have no clue. I have no idea. I have no idea. You have, we're upset because we can't afford real things, and now we you know, can't afford fake things. What was the price of that car when it went through Bear Jackson? Do you know? The actual car? Yeah. I was like half a million dollars. Yeah. 25 grand. That's my answer. I can't imagine. It no, then, no, no, then I'm not going to go over it, so then I'll say 60 grand. Okay. There's actually a bargain at $6,600. Okay, all right, thank God. That gives me a little bit of hope that yeah. we're not total idiots in this world. 2004 Volkswagen R32. This one's gonna make me upset. I guarantee you this is over 30 grand. These things are cool. Yeah, they're cool as <laughs> so it's, This one only has 20,000 miles. <clears throat> it's a six speed. It's got a 3.2 liter VR6, hence the R32. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's all wheel drive. And it's so fun. It's one of the best sounding. I think it's one of the best sounding cars ever made. I gotta go 40k. Mm -hmm. I think it's got. I think it's got to be more than that. If that if that other GTI went for 65, 65 grand. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. I mean, this could be a fifty thousand dollar. Yeah, I'm locked in. Yeah, I'm locked in. Thirty five. Final price was fifty nine thousand. Jeez, Louise, I believe Shit. it. These yeah. are great. This yeah. is a car that I'm like. I get it. Yeah. Like, they didn't make a lot of them. Mm -hmm. I guess this is what stuff costs now. Inflation was crazy this year. Mm-hmm. Next up, we have a 1994 uh. <coughs> Toyota Land Cruiser. Yep. Automatic. Mm-hmm. It's got 1,000 original miles. Oh, sh Yeah. All right, I already know what this is going for. Dude, here's the thing with these super low mileage cars. Uh-huh. It's not good. Right away, if you buy a car with a thousand miles, uh -huh. take it right to, tow it to the shop <laughs> and have every gasket and soft part on the car replaced. Swapped out. That is old rubber. Right. Finding a well-maintained version, I think is like. Better if you're gonna drive it. If you're gonna drive it. It's my favorite green, kind of like the Honda, but it's a little darker. Force green or something. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what they call emerald. I can't remember. I, I, I wanted to paint my GX this color. That'd I, be sick. Yeah. Um, 58K. 105,000. <laughs> I support this because at one point, the only cars that were selling for that much money were like sports cars. Mm -hmm. And what if I don't like sports cars? Right. What if I like trucks? Right. Well, this is a great truck. One of the best trucks ever. Right. <laughs> 136,000. Oh my God. What? 136 grand? You're out of your mind. <laughs> that is nuts bananas. <laughs> that is so crazy. So this is a 2000 Geo Metro, Chevy Metro. Uh, it's got a one liter inline three. Mm -hmm. It's got 400 miles on it. So if you're collecting them, this is the one you want. Uh, when new, these things sold for nine grand. These were our driver's ed cars. Were they? Yeah. I want to get one of these for D-list. Yeah, these were our driver's ed cars. Uh, we beat the absolute dog crap out of this thing uh, when we drove them in driver's head. This car is one of the reasons that we decided to make this video. We both <laughs> know how much this sold for, and we were like, what? Yeah. What else is out there? So uh, we're gonna give you guys a little moment. I want you to go ahead and write your guess how much you think this sold for in the comments. So I'm gonna give you guys a hint. Think of a price in your head. Go higher. <laughs> $18,000 for a Geo Metro. The world has lost its marbles. We've reached the end, and probably I'm guessing the most expensive car on this entire list. We got a 2002 R34 GTR V Spec 2. Mm -hmm. Beautiful car. It's only got 10 kilometers on it. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say $300,000. Yeah, I mean, 550K. 550K, wow. it, ca it can't, yeah. Um, it's craziness. James, 300,000, Jeremiah, 550. Yeah. Sale price was 549. Whoa, <laughs> you went over. <laughs> wow. Dang it. Damn, dude, 550K, over half a million dollars for 20-year-old Nissan. Insane. To be honest, we both lost, though. Yeah. <laughs> Hey friend, I know where you're at. You forgot to get a gift for the donut fan in your life and it's too late for anything to be shipped. Well, you're in luck because donut media gift cards are a thing and you can get them in some phenomenal increments. I'm talking $25, $50, $75, $100, and if you want to do something crazy like $7,500, give me a call and we'll work something out.
The Donut Media gift cards are 100% digital. They don't rely on the old school guy on a horse delivering things, which is how I assume things still get to people. And each of them are designed after an 80s credit card, which is a genius idea that I came up with in literally three seconds. So head on over to DonutMedia.com and pick up your perfect stocking stuffer today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and everything else on Donut Media. To make sure you don't miss anything, hit that subscribe button. If you like watching us talk about the used car market, we made another video here. We speed run Craigslist. Check it out. Follow Jeremiah on social media at Jeremiah Burton. Follow me at James Pumphrey. Go to DonutMedia.com, get yourself some merch, get on our mailing list. I love you.